Hello friends, welcome to channel Teach Me Technically. What we are going to learn in this playlist is we are going to study computer architecture and the processor what we are going to study is MIPS. For all those who have not yet subscribed to our channel Teach Me Technically, subscribe it now. We are going to study that which logical operations are performed in our system and how it is implemented through the hardware. Most computers uses only four logical gates and or XOR and NOT because all other logical operations can be derived from these gates. So now this is the hardware implementation of our logical micro operations system. What we have in our hardware is we have a 4 cross 1 MUX and an XOR gate, an OR gate and AND gate and a NOT gate. We have two inputs, input A and input B. And with the MUX we have two selection bits S0 and S1. Logical operations like XOR, OR AND and NOT are performed through these gates. And this 4 cross 1 MUX controls that the output of which gate should be passed and given at the wire E. Because there are two selection bits S0 and S1 so there are total 4 possibilities 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1. What we have made in this truth table is that on the selection bit 0 0 what we will do is we will perform XOR operation. On the selection 0 1 what we will perform is OR gate and when the selection bit would be 1 0 the output would be the result of the AND gate. And finally when the selection bits would be 1 1 the output would be the complement. So now I will tell that how this truth table has been implemented through this circuit. So basically how MUX actually operates. First of all we give selection bits to the MUX. If we convert that selection bits into the decimal number, it actually represents that the value of which input field would be passed at the output field. For example we have a selection bits of 00. zero. So 00, 00 is actually the binary of 0. So whatever the input is right here would be passed at the output field. So basically what we do is as we need to implement this truth table we just attach two input fields A and B and take the XOR of it and just attach the result of XOR with the 0. Now consider that our selection bits are 0 1 as we know that 0 1 is actually the binary of 1 so it means whatever is right here would be passed at the output field. As our truth table says that we need to compute OR operation so what we do is we attach both the inputs A and B with our OR gate and attach its output with the input of the MUX at point 1. Now similarly if our selection bits are 1 0 so as 1 0 is binary of 2 so it means that whatever the result is right here would be passed at the output field. So at 1 0 what we need to compute is AND operation. So we attach the inputs of A and B with the AND gate and attach the output wire of AND gate with the input field of the MUX at the point number 2. And finally we have our last selection bit which are 1 1 and 1 1 is actually the binary of 3. So it means that whatever input is at the point number 3 would be passed to the output field. So our truth table says that at the selection 1 1 we need to compute the complement of A input. So basically what we do is we simply join the input bits of A with the inverter and attach the output of the NOT operation with the input field number third of the MUX. So in this way the hardware of logical micro operations is implemented. So friends if you understand the lecture do comment in the comment box and let me know because it motivates me to make more videos. So I hope you understand the lecture, give this video a thumbs up, if you have any question do comment and subscribe to our channel Teach Me Technically. Thanks for watching friends.